Yeah, hi, Brian. And uh, in the last half hour or so, we're getting some of the strongest wind gusts we've had since the bulk of the storm came through overnight. Somewhat surprising, but just goes to show exactly how big this storm was, even though, uh, you know, it's now approaching the Arkansas border with the eye. Uh, we're still in the tail end of it. The rain did end about an hour, hour and a half ago, so we haven't seen that sun starting to peek through, but still very high, possibly tropical storm force winds here in Lafayette, which is considerably inland. So that means that the risk for tree and power line damage, roof damage and stuff continues. I want to show you something because this is remarkable to me, and this is one of the main concerns here in Lafayette. This is the Vermilion River or Bayou Vermilion, as the locals call it. Yesterday, it was going in the opposite direction. It was going from east to west. Now it is going from west to east, and it has flooded over its banks. Locals told me to watch out for that because in this area, when there's no place for this water going downstream, heading southward towards the Gulf of Mexico, when there's nowhere for it to go to drain, these rivers actually back up and start going the other way. They said when you see that, get to higher ground because you know it's going to be flooded. In this area, mostly roof damage, things of that nature, some flooding. Obviously, along the coast, much more devastating damage. Crews are actually out getting out to some of these rural areas to see exactly how bad it was. It appears that the storm surge wasn't as bad as it was forecast to be, but just because something isn't as bad doesn't mean it's not bad. So it's obviously very bad. We know that there are 600,000 people without power in coastal Texas and throughout Louisiana. The vast majority of them are here in Louisiana, about a half million. There are power crews from 20 states in the region going out to fix the power, but they warn that it could be days, maybe weeks before power comes up back on for all the customers. Brian. Yeah, scary there. Uh, Chris Pallone, Lafayette, Louisiana. Also, by the way, thank you, Chris. By the way, we're also following news of a uh, possible chemical plant fire on I-10 in Westlake, just west of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Get more on that. Certainly bring it to you. A lot of video out there trying to figure out exactly what plant that is.